in that tackle the other night was really, really disappointed. I didn't think there was any need for it at all. That's not that's not that's not being professional. You know, we want him to be competitive. I want all my players to be competitive. But there's a fine line, and uh, you know, anybody that wants to defend that, then they're wrong. There's nobody inside this football club that's seen it that can that can agree with it, with it. It's an outrageous tackle. Not not the not the his, his, his foot that actually tackles the ball, it's his other foot. That's high and reckless. I'll be honest with you, I called him a coward after the game. Sam? Yeah, he's a coward. Because there's no uh, there's no way that I can say to him, Well, you know, you've gone for the ball there. He's gone to he's gone for the ball but he's gone then to hurt the, the lad and that's not what I want. I don't want to see that in my team. They were a good side last season, to be honest. They've had, they've had a bit of turmoil at their football club in terms of finances. Uh, but once again, you know, uh, Paul uh, has managed to put together a competitive side. Went down to Bristol Rovers and, and, and won in midweek uh, and, and deservedly won. So we expect nothing other than a tough game. Uh, Paul, uh, particularly at this level, has got a, a fantastic record in, in putting teams together. Uh, to be competitive and that's what we expect, we expect a competitive game, it's never easy going down there, we went down there last season and uh, really got turned over, you know, and uh, they were a good side at that at that particular time, I think Liam Dickinson caused absolute carnage that day and I'm glad he's not playing this week, this, this week but uh, we're a different side, we're a different side and I want to take all the positives I can out of Tuesday night because we looked fantastic going forward on Tuesday. We really did look a unit and uh, that's a massive disappointment not to get them all the two points.